do you like buy a new costume for every myth we do? <laughs> Sometimes, but in this case, I had my own spacesuit in my personal collection, just brought it out because it was appropriate. Of course you did. Well, um, let me guess, we're doing what, moon landing myths? We are! Perhaps one of the biggest myths of all is that NASA faked the moon landing and perpetrated a hoax on the American people. So pervasive is this myth that 20% of Americans today still believe it, and we're taking it on. Well, how are we gonna do that? The number of claims are massive. I mean, they range from photographs to heat signatures to footprints. I know, there's a lot of them. I think what we should do is cherry pick the most common ones and piece the truth together as best we can. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Exactly. Launch control, we passed the six minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. Good luck and Godspeed. 10, 9, Ignition sequence start. On July the 16th, 1969, the world watched, wondered, and worried as three brave astronauts headed for the moon. Well, the Houston thrusters go. All engines are looking good. Then, five days later, came that extraordinary moment in time when Neil Armstrong took those first tentative extraterrestrial steps. That's one small step for man. Eleven men followed in Armstrong's footsteps, each stride filling the earthbound audience with pride and confidence in scientific endeavor. Look, you, isn't it, John? It's absolutely unreal. But did we really leap into the future? Or were we pushed into believing a giant PR stunt? Did NASA pull off the greatest cover-up in human history? Growl like a tiger. Mew like a kitten. Guess what our first myth is? Still photography? Yes! Most of the alleged evidence that NASA faked the moon landings comes from NASA's own photography, which theorists claim shows clear evidence the moon landing was faked in the studio and could not have been filmed on the moon. Say hoax. Hoax! So these are the photos the guys will focus on. According to Apollo hoax advocates, this shot was taken in a studio because the shadows are not parallel. Supposedly, that's something that could only happen with multiple light sources. Then there's this image of an artfully lit astronaut. Conspiracy cheerleaders claim if he really was standing in the shadow of the moon module, you wouldn't be able to see him so clearly. You know what, let's do parallel shadows first. How do you want to test it? Well, I think we should do a large miniature because we can test the placement of all the various elements. It's kind of a complex thing. Yeah, we need a lot of control over those elements. Exactly. All right, let's do it. So first up, the guys need a single, super-sized light source to stand in for the sun. Amy, ah, I'd like to introduce you to your son. And Bright Spark Adam has found a monster studio light. That's pretty bright. To illuminate the experiment. Over I mean, here, I look like one of the aliens in Close Encounters. <laughs> That's the solar. Now for the lunar. Cue the build montage, because Jamie's making a moon. I've got a good first start on my lunar set. It's just spandex and, uh, let's see, Portland cement with a little bone black, which is basically black powder. As luck would have it, we just happen to have one of these sitting around the shop, and it's perfect for our miniature set. It's 176th scale. Ah, uh, that could not be better. What do you say we turn on the lights and uh, see what our shadows look like? Yeah, let's see the light. Let's turn it around. I'm spinning around. Watch your eyes. What do you think? Works for me. We've had the lights, and there's been plenty of action. So where's the... This is the camera that we're going to use. It's a Hasselblad that's very similar to the one that was used on the moon, except that we put a digital feed out the back so that we can look at the images in real time on a monitor and make comparisons to the original shots.